Hey guys, Shelty Phillips here. Welcome to a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video. Today is a very steaming hot day. It's like, I guess it's like in the 90s, maybe even 100 right now. Like, it is really hot. And, um, uh, there's a couple of different things coming out today. You know, uh, uh, Ghostbusters movie. I got the second one already. I might get, you know, that set, because it's like really cheap, I think, for both of them. Uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre set, which I have that, you know, coming in the mail. Uh, Congo, which I really like, it's coming to Blu-ray. I know that movie people are like, yeah, it's not that great. I mean, I know it's really not great, but it's like one of those movies I really liked as a kid and like watched all the time. For some reason, I've always liked that movie. I think there's a couple other different things as well, so we're pretty much just going to go out and see what we can find. Also, I want to let you guys know there's going to be a sequel to Samurai Cop 2, which is like the cult hit film. Uh, check out the link underneath of it to see um, the Kickstarter for uh, Samurai Cop 2. Check out the cast. Uh, Tommy Wiseman from The Room is going to be in it. There's some really cool people in it. I'm going to be in the film. There's only like four days left on the Kickstarter, so definitely check that out. You can pre-order the DVD or the Blu-ray. Anyway, though, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Wahoo's Fish Tacos, we go. So you end up getting the shrimp burrito there. And actually, you know, this is the lowest calorie shrimp burrito, you know, of any place I found. It's only like 400 calories. And, you know, I don't get the cheese on it. I don't have beans in it. It's basically just shrimp and this uh, citrus slaw stuff. Uh, I'm so crazy though with like the, the calories and counting everything and all that kind of stuff. You wouldn't believe it. And this is like the first thing I've eaten since like last night late. Uh, I know you're not supposed to eat late, but I'm up all night watching stuff. Weird schedules, weird ways of doing things, but it seems to be going all right. Shrimpy. And here's what's inside of it in case you guys were wondering. It's like the shrimp and the citrus slaw and like sauce. Into Best Buy we go. Yeah, one of the things that came out was Fault in the Stars. They have an extended one. I haven't seen this in a long time where they have like two different editions, you know, extended and a regular. Normally it would just be like one. It's kind of funny that they're doing that again. Yeah, and then here's the Texas Chainsaw one that came out. Like I said, I should have this one coming in the mail soon. But uh, this is a pretty cool looking set, this one. Uh, I, I really like the new cover on this. And Godzilla came out as well, and I talked about that in the last update. This one, it's funny, the DVD comes with like a bonus disc with uh, special features and extras. That's kind of weird. I guess it's like only on the DVD. I, that's another thing I haven't seen in a while, to put exclusive stuff only on the DVD. Into fries we go. Here's their board for the things that came out today. So I guess they carried um, a racer head. That's kind of, kind of cool. But I'm going to have that in my next update talk about that. That was really cool. Yeah, I don't see any Congo over here anywhere. And I know Cyan Light Deadline came out, but I don't see that one here either. Yeah, so I'm probably going to end up getting the Congo off of uh, Amazon. Like I said, though, I know that's not like an outstanding movie or something, but like, I remember seeing it in theaters as a kid, and I remember even having those toys of it. And yeah, they actually made toys in the movie. And I always liked it. There's just something, something about it that I always thought was kind of this weird, fun movie. Into Spirit Halloween we go. <laughs> Target, we go. You know, their Fault in the Stars is 22 as well, and they have this thing you can buy for like $5, like a wall kind of fabric banner or something like that. And here's like their edition of Godzilla, exclusive one. I think there's one of these that you push and makes a noise, I think. I don't know where it sells that one, though. And they have one copy of Ghostbusters, you know, the first one, but they don't have part two or that double pack one or the limited one. Into Walmart, we go. If only they weren't all out of KC Masterpiece Barbecue Sauce. I don't know why they can't keep that stuff stocked. Yeah, their fault in the stars is way more money here for the extended one. It's $27.96 for some reason. And look, Barbies. I'm in a different Walmart because sometimes, for some reason, this Walmart seems to carry a couple more new things as opposed to some of the other locations, the one that I usually go to. I don't know why, because this is the one that didn't used to have as much, and now it's kind of switched around a little bit. Uh, usually right here is where they put the newer, yeah, so see there, this one here, their text chainsaw one, it's, I think it has all the features, I think, but this is like a different version 
for fourteen ninety six, not the um, nineteen ninety nine one. I think that I don't know what I gotta look at what all the differences is with them. And that one came out. I might get that Asylum of the Dead. I don't know. And then Hazmat. I talked about that a while ago. That was an okay one. I kind of like that Hazmat. And then Shout Factory. They only have the DVD of it, but you know, Scream Factories, the battery, which I like that one a lot. They have some of these horror packs that are new, like reissues with a bunch of them together. This one, this is actually kind of interesting. This has, which I don't think has ever been available before, the Bates Motel movie with Bud Court. I might have to get that. I don't think that's ever been in any other set. That's kind of interesting. But they have these other ones as well that have come out, you know, put together. And they only have one of these new ones that have been like reissued with the cover. They're kind of cool new artwork, but see, it's just a thing right underneath them. It's not a slip cover or anything. But all these uh, Warner Brothers titles, like Return of the Living Dead and Text Changer Massacre, have these new commissioned artwork for them. Which is kind of cool. Like I said, though, it's just this thing over top. It's not actually, um, you know, pressed or anything like that on it. But um, there's, there's a whole bunch of them out. I haven't seen, though, any of the other ones for it. So that's all for this DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video. Uh, like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. I had to get ID to buy the Bates Motel DVD because they thought I was under 17. But anyway, though, thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.